Hi everyone, this is AXL with DGK from Kingdom 15. Um, and this video is going to be about uh, equipment and gems. So uh, we'll start with equipment. Um, so you can access your various uh, different sets of equipment um, through your forge um, and then uh, go to your armory and then these are just the different sets of equipment um, you will notice that there's also an economy set um, I actually don't um, know when we can actually earn these uh, types of uh, development ingots that are required or they actually look like scrolls but um, um, since I've been here we we have not yet uh, been able to earn these but um, I'm just going to be talking mainly about the battle equipment. So there's obviously different levels. Um, when you first start out, uh, just by completing the, I think, storyline, um, or I don't even know if it's required for you to to complete the storyline anymore, for you to get the um, private set. I think so. I think there's like things on the floor um, or chests that you can open once you reach... Uh, a certain level of uh, your um, Sea Master's Trident um, before you can open those chests and access those pieces um, of equipment. So um, back to the forge. Um, so so there's different sets um, and uh, some sets you can get from chests um, or pieces of them or pieces of the scroll that's required to forge them I should say. Um, and then there are certain ones that, uh, you can only get during certain events. Um, for example, the Demon Hunter set was an event a while ago. Um, and by event, I think it was just packs that you can buy. I don't remember if we can get them for like, um, defeating like, um, camps and stuff. I don't remember, but, um, but basically... Um, the best set is, is Thunder, um, which is uh, very hard to get. Um, I think you can only get Thunder uh, set scrolls um, by purchasing them, so to speak. So just uh, really no way to get it if you're, you're free to play. Um, the best set you can get for free to play players is the Storm set. Um, I think, I'm trying to think if you can get Billow set, but I believe you cannot um, there are certain um, chests that have billow set scrolls but i um, trying to remember how to get those I think it's uh, through the um, honor challenge event um, you can get purple chests but um, I don't remember if those purple chests have um, have billow set in it I believe you have to also purchase that through packs if I remember correctly so um, anyway, uh, so really the the set that most people want to kind of strive for, um, especially if you're you're towards the lower level, um, is the storm set, and you can get the storm set um, scrolls a couple of different ways, um, and there's really only four, uh, sorry, five pieces of the storm set. Um, the uh, weapon is not available, as you can see, equipment. For this part cannot be forged, um, so really it's just the the helmet, the armor, the boots, the ring, and the uh, sort of accessory, um, in this case a pendant. Um, so to earn the scrolls, uh, or the uh, they call it the ingots, um, but the scrolls for the uh, storm set, you can get them by... Um, by uh, completing the honor challenge um, so not this one so every other one uh, will swap between uh, gems and and equipment so um, what they look actually have some um, so what they look like is is this the purple one so there's different types so for example this one um, you can see that there is the helmet right here um, so all five pieces you can you can get um, and um, you get different number of each um, per a chest opened. 
So this one is just all storm gear. Um, and then there's this one. This one has both storm and warrant officer. Um, so you could potentially get um, warrant officer, which is a lower set of uh, armor. But um, I mean, my suggestion is just to go for the storm. Um, and as you can see, uh, all five pieces are are in this chest as well. So there's two different uh, ones. There's one more purple chest that also gives you billow gear, I think. Um, but uh, again, I think that one is only available to be purchased. And um, I don't even think that that um, pack is available for purchase right now. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, the weapon, um, if you can't, obviously you can't get a storm weapon because it's not available. So the best weapon in the game right now um, that people have is the Retribution set. Um, this weapon specifically. And unfortunately this was through an event a while ago and uh, you can't really get this anymore. Um, I got the Demon Hunter set weapon a while ago um, during that event. Um, but if you can't get either of these uh, either the uh, the retribution set uh, weapon or the demon hunter set weapon. Um, I think the let me see if lieutenant has it. Yeah, so lieutenant uh, pistol would probably be your um, best weapon to get, um, and um, you can um, you can get this if you have enough of these, which is the crimson gold, which uh, I don't think there's a way to earn anymore. Um, so if you can't, uh, craft this because you don't have enough crimson gold, then your only option at that point is the basic, um, private set, uh, weapon, which is this one. This one, all you need is these, uh, basic scrolls. Um, so the other thing I want to talk about is upgrading your, your gear. Um, and so, uh, if you click on enhancements up here, um, you can upgrade your gear using steel, uh, and, uh, different pieces give you different, uh, buffs. So for example, the, uh, accessory here, uh, at the bottom right, so the amulet or talisman in this situation, um, it gives you boosts to army damage, um, troop attack, and troop defense. So um, I think the the accessory is the best piece of equipment to upgrade. Um, and then there's the armor who give you more, uh, I think, uh, sort of defensive buffs, the troop health, uh, army damage received, um, and um, there's infantry attack for this one as well. Um, and then there's the boot and the ring. Um, the boot gives you um, distance. It's more specific in this situation. There is um, a deduction in the army da uh, army damage received, but mainly this is specific to you know distance, health, and uh, and ca a cavalry uh, attack. And then on the flip side, the ring gives you distance attack and cavalry health. So uh, it's kind of flipped. And then um, this one, the ring, gives you an addition to your army damage, uh, which increases obviously your damage overall for your entire army. And this one is uh, sort of uh, more defense, uh, army damage received. Um, and there's a minus 10% for damage received. So each of these pieces gives you different buffs. And then um, to just to take a look at it, even though we can't build them right now, the, um, the helmet gives you uh, addition to all uh, of uh, health for all of your troops and then um, there's a addition to infantry attack and um, a uh, army damage received same as the uh, same as the boots I believe army damage received yeah army damage received so uh, and then the weapon finally uh, there is hold on Oh, I wasn't actually clicking on them, my bad. So I gotta go back to Forge 
and now I can click on them. Uh, that was my fault. I wasn't actually clicking on the helmet. So helmet gives you, let's see, distance, defense, um, infantry, health, troop health, army damage received. Uh, and then the weapon gives you cavalry defense, army damage, troop attack, and infantry defense. So, um, but out of these four, um, I would say the best thing to upgrade uh, is your accessory, your your talisman, um, if you're uh, looking at thunder. But um, I think let's look at storm. That might be um, more relatable for everyone. Um, so. Storm, the amulet, gives you troop attack and troop defense, so um, this kind of affects all of your troops, uh, which is why it's it's uh, good to upgrade this. And then the armor uh, gives you troop health and infantry attack. And then the boots give you distance health and cavalry attack. Um, so this is purely specific to you know distance troops and, and cavalry troops. Same with this. This is just flipped distance attack and cavalry, cavalry um, health. So the best uh, thing to upgrade is the the amulet dependent, um, and then I would say uh, maybe the armor to give your troop uh, all of your troops more health, and then um, probably distance attack, um, and then and then cavalry attack. Uh, let me see what the 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 hat does. Uh, distance, defense, infantry, health, and troop health. So hat is very good too. So, uh, both the armor and the hat give you troop health. Uh, and this one gives you infantry attack, and the hat gives you uh, distance, defense, and infantry health. So actually, I would say probably the the pendant is the most important one, and then probably the hat, then the armor, then the ring, then the boot um, would be the way that I, I go. Um, so I would put more upgrades into the, the amulet first. Um, so another thing about equipment is uh, you have the ability to dismantle it. Um, so if you click on it, you can uh, a piece of equipment that you that you have you can dismantle it and uh, you would get all of the steel back that you use to uh, to make the equipment and also to upgrade the equipment so you would get all of that steel back so the only times you would do that and I covered this during the uh, the pinnacle of kings event or the crown invasion the, the kvk event um, I covered it during that video but I'm gonna just go over it again so there's really no benefits to dismantling your equipment um, unless you're going to make a profit on this deal. And uh, the way you can make a profit is, uh, there's two ways. Uh, one is by upgrading your forge. So every time you upgrade your forge, you reduce the amount of steel required to make and upgrade equipment. So um, the higher you go, I'm gonna just click on info. As you can see here, um, at max level, uh, which is 35, um, the reduction in steel com consumption is 17.5%. So um, that's the maximum amount of reduction you can get to. Um, but every time you upgrade your, your forge, that this number goes up. So um, effectively, let's say um, you uh, increase the, or you upgrade your forge and let's say you add another, let's say 5% on top of what you had before, right? Let's say you upgrade from, I don't know, level 20 to uh, level 30 um, for your forge. And you get, a, uh, you know, you increase that percentage, let's say by 5%. I don't know if that's a number, but let's just hypothetically, let's say it's 5%. So basically what happens is um, if you dismantle all of your equipment and uh, you... Uh, build all of that equipment and upgrade it back to the level it was um, you will end up using 5% less steel um, than you had before so you would pretty much get a uh, profit of steel back that you can use uh, during the prep phase of the uh, pinnacle event um, pinnacle of kings event to get points uh, during the uh, second and, and, and fifth day 
uh, for upgrading your equipment. So um, upgrading a forge uh, is one way. The other way is by um, getting a certain kingdom title um, and I'll we'll go to that. So if you want to go to the center, the citadel, um, the two ways you can do do that is if you click on the great hall on the bottom left and then you you can click on go to uh, citadel or you can just click on the map and then just click directly in in the middle and then that'll bring you to this to the citadel so this is sort of our kingdom castle if you will um, and if you click on it you can you can see that there's a, a button here called titles and you click on that and you can see the eight titles that we have um, and one of the titles is royal artisan and if you get this title um, you uh, have a 5% reduction in steel cons consumption so um, use if you have that title and you dismantle your your uh, equipment and you build it um, back to the same level you will effectively made a 5% profit in, in whatever steel you used um, so that's the only time you would ever dismantle your equipment um, there's no other reasons to do that um, you don't get any extra points or anything like that during during the uh, Pinnacle of Kings event. Um, there's no bug or anything anymore um, that allows you to get those points. So the only reason, again, to dismantle is uh, if you have upgraded your forge or if you have that Royal Artisan uh, title. Um, all right, uh, that is pretty much it for, for equipment. Uh, oh, one more thing about, um, sorry. One more thing about equipment: um, how to get uh, certain sets. So in the beginning, if you're if you're very low, let's say you're let's say under um, stronghold twenty, um, really the first thing you want to focus on is getting the warrant officer set. So the warrant officer set only has four pieces. Um, it does not have the helmet and it does not have the weapon. So the only ones you can get is the armor, the ring the pendant and the boot um, and the way to earn scrolls for this um, is very simple you you can get them get chests for these by just killing threats or undead army camps so let's just go to a threat real quick we'll click on it and then you see this blue chest right here um, from here you can get uh, scrolls um, for each of the four pieces here uh, which are, whichever one you want um, and so there's a chance of you getting that every time you hit uh, one of these threats. Um, same thing for the uh, undead army camp rallies that we do. Uh, there is a chance that you can get one of those chests from from defeating one of the undead army camps. So that's the best way to earn uh, scrolls for the warrant officer set. Um, after you get the warrant officer set the next set you want to focus on getting is a storm set and I've mentioned before that you can get that through the honor challenge event uh, every other uh, I think it's every other week um, I don't think it's one week or two I forget I think it's every other week um, that it, it flips between the gems and the uh, and the uh, armor and the equipment um, so uh, so there is an option to upgrade this um, you don't have to if you're free to play but if you upgrade it's five dollars for the silver and then um, it's uh, I want to say ten dollars for yeah it's ten dollars for the, the the highest one the royal honor pass and what that gives you is just more stuff um, um, and we'll talk about this a little bit more when we're talking about gems but um, it'll give you more uh, scroll chests, uh, storm scroll chests, uh, when you're doing the armor one. So um, the other way you can earn those uh, purple chests for storm gear is uh, through the relic events. So in the relic events, when we uh, win one of these relics, um, there is a certain number of those purple chests that uh, are distributed or can be distributed. Um, and usually we do that um, for obviously those that still need storm gear um, and then we, we try and split that 
based on you know kind of people's participation in in that relic event so it is good to to make it to those events um if you want storm gear so that is pretty much it for for equipment uh we'll move on to gems so <clears throat> gems are used to pretty much enhance equipment and uh <clears throat> I think storm level gear and higher there are three slots for for gems and then things lower like the warrant officer set um, and lower pieces of, of equipment uh, I think there's only two um, slots um, I don't know if there's only one slot in the in the the lowest level of equipment like the private one um, it's been a while for me and I think at that time there wasn't even gems so um, I don't know if there are less than two slots uh, for the lowest um, set of equipment. But <clears throat> basically the gems, there are different types of gems. Um, so we'll look at each type. So the, the best gem, the most expensive gem and the best gem are the earth gems. <clears throat> so there's four types. Uh, <clears throat> there is the earth, the sun, the moon, and the star gems. So the square ones are the earth gems and they increase the overall attack, defense, and health of, of your troops. So that's why this is the best gem. It's also why it's the most expensive gem uh, to both upgrade and to build out the next uh, R level. Um, so there's different R levels. There's one through six, basically. And <clears throat> so... Um, Basically, there's uh, also the Sun Gem. Uh, the Sun Gem also, um, uh, I mean, the Sun Gem gives you uh, pretty much health for all of your different types of troops, uh, except for artillery, which uh, you don't typically really use in battles uh, anyway. Um, the, only, the only use for artillery really is to gather resources because they have a high carrying capacity. So um, that's the Sun Gem. Uh, and then the Moon Gem is the one that gives you defense. And then finally, the Star Gem is the one that gives you attack. So, um, so Star is attack, Moon is defense, uh, Sun is health, and Earth is overall attack, defense, and health. Um, there's only two earth gems um, that can be placed. Um, these are these are predetermined what type of gem you can you can put in here. Um, so uh, the, for the boots, you can put in um, the moon gem in the first two slots, one and two, and then the third slot is a sun gem. Um, and then for the ring, there is um, a slot for the moon a slot for the uh, star and a slot for the earth. So each of these pieces of equipment have a predetermined type of gem that you can place in here. It's not like you could, you decide you can you, you can put, you know, three earth gems and, you know, everybody would just put earth gems all over the place because they're the, the best type, but um, it's predetermined. Um, so there's only two earths. One goes into the third slot of the ring and one goes into the third slot of the accessory. Um, whether that be a talisman or, or amulet or whatever the case may be for your specific equipment set. Um, there are a total of four um, star gems, the ones that give you attack. So one of them in the ring and then obviously um, three of them in the weapon, which makes sense. And then uh, I don't know how many exactly are, there are of the other ones, but there's more. Um, but you can kind of take a look at that yourself and, and see how many there are. Um, and basically the goal of this is to um, upgrade them and then uh, to a, a to higher level. So these plus 30s, plus 40s, plus 36, these are your the level of that specific gem. So you can upgrade it by clicking upgrade and then it'll tell you how many of each crystal is required for the next upgrade and then you can see your total crystals up here um, you can earn crystals a couple of different ways um, 
the uh, common way is to uh, complete the gemstone cave. Um, it's called the hero treasure hunt. So if you click on that, um, you'll see that, you know, there is uh, basically um, missions, so to speak, that you can send your heroes on to dig for uh, crystals. And um, you can do this automatically by clicking auto deploy like this. Um, and it'll auto assign um, like the appropriate heroes um, to each of these uh, or you can do it manually so <clears throat> if you're lazy and uh, you don't want to think about it uh, you could just hit auto deploy but if you want to actually min max and get the most out of you know each of these deployments uh, you want to do it manually because you can see here for example this chasm cave one right it put a level 40 a level 20 and a level one green um, and why that's bad is because you get bonuses if you put higher level heroes in so for example this abandoned mine right I'm gonna hit deploy um, so this over here is telling you uh, what level of heroes you need so this is a S tier hero right you can so basically you need to put two at least cavalry S tier heroes in order to start this deployment so um, taking a look at you know my entire okay I don't have oh uh, because I have them yeah I have them in here so mm, this is gonna be hard to do uh, it's gonna be hard to show you certain things but uh, I'll try my best um, so I actually don't have the heroes required uh, to start this one because I only have one cavalry left um, that's undeployed so let me go into a different one and maybe um, does this count no it doesn't okay uh, I wish I would have uh, saved one of the higher levels but um, let me see if I can maybe go to one of the purple ones and show you guys what I'm talking about with one of these. All right, so for this one, um, I need a infantry, uh, and this is a a tier heroes. Um, I'll put an infantry, and I will put a uh, cavalry. Okay, so as you can see here. Um, this has a sum of your total level so it's a level 40 plus level 30 is level 70 and then you'll see here quest reward 10% um, boost so the higher level you go the more boost you will get um, and the maximum amount of boost you can get is 50% and you can get 50% only in the yellow uh, ones where you can put three heroes in so if I were to put two level 80 infantry heroes, is, which is what is required, and then I put another level 80 hero of whatever other type, um, then my quest reward boost will be 50%. Um, I think, let me see uh, if I can, no, I can't even view this anymore. But um, if you do two level 80 heroes and let's say a level 50 hero, then the benefit is 31%. You can see here benefit 31%. So um, when you have the computer do it for you, it throws in some nonsense like level, low level heroes like this one and this one. It throws in like a lot of low level heroes, even if you have high level heroes available. I don't know why, but it does not optimize is uh, the point I'm trying to make. So if you want to optimize, you're going to have to do it manually and spend a little time trying to get more benefits. So you can see here the three I have deployed. Um, all of them are getting a 31% boost. So anyway, so that's uh, Treasure Hunt in a nutshell. One other thing I will mention about Treasure Hunt real quick. Um, I don't know if they fixed this yet or changed this yet. Um, but you can see here down here level 15, right? So uh, once you fill this meter, um, you'll be able to open this chest. And when you open this chest, you go to the next level. If you do not open the chest, you will not go to the next level. 
Um, so if I want to go to level 16 once this meter gets filled, um, then I will click on the chest and it'll bring me to level 16. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is because at level 12 and below, um, these missions actually give you scrolls, uh, gem scrolls, gemstone scrolls. So uh, gemstone scrolls are used to upgrade your gemstones, uh, all of them except for earth because earth uh, uses, uses advanced gemstones. So let's say right now I'm at uh, a R4 uh, sun gem. If I want to go to R5, you can see here that um, I need these uh, gemstone scrolls. Um, I need, uh, you know, 1,200 of them in order to upgrade to the next level of gem. Um, so these scrolls are kind of hard to come by. Um, you can get them a couple of ways. Um, one way is through this honor challenge. You can see you get six here. Um, you get four here. Um, yeah, basically this is this is a way to earn that. There's two here. I don't know what the total is, but um, there's also these gemstone uh, gemstone enhancement chests um, that you can get, and what they give you is basically uh, you can either get uh, one uh, five advanced gemstone scrolls, which are used again for the uh, earth gem. Or you can get 10 regular gemstone scrolls, which are used for every other type of gem. Um, so uh, these are very useful to get uh, more of those scrolls. Um, and then um, you can open these incentive chests um, and they can potentially uh, give you more. So uh, you get some random awards from, from, from here. You can get... Um, uh, like speed ups and like resources I think and um, also the things you need to recruit uh, the lo uh, high tier uh, heroes so these banners um, I forgot what they're called these recruitment banners um, you can get those but the the sort of uh, high prize that you can get from this is either uh, these chests or the um, gemstone scrolls and um, I typically don't do this um, don't do this meaning I don't buy the keys for this um, because you only get one key per one of these rows um, so effectively you know if you're free to play you only get one key every single time you do one of these uh, honor challenges and um, if you upgrade it to you know the honor pass you get one more key and then the royal honor pass you get a third key so effectively every single round if you're not buying keys uh, you can only open three of these chests and in order to guarantee one of these high level drops you need to open a super chest which happens every 10 chests that you open so I've done this and opened all of them and gotten absolutely nothing from it. Um, by absolutely nothing, I mean I didn't I didn't get any of the chests. I only got a couple of scrolls, which is not worth the money that that is spent on getting these incentive keys, like actually buying them. Um, the lowest level one is like a dollar per key, and uh, I I personally don't really spend too much money on that and you know because I don't think it's worth it because it's it's a chance it's a gamble uh, it's not a short thing so um, one thing I will say um, what I've done in the past uh, is so like I mentioned you can get one key per row um, even if you're free to play and you you never spend money to upgrade to the next level of the the passes you at least get one key every single time, every single week um, when you do this honor challenge. Um, you could, instead of opening up one chest every single time, you could just keep saving them and then don't open the chest until you've saved up 10 of these keys. Because like I said, you don't get the super chest until you open uh, 
at least 10. So you open 9 and then the 10th one is the super chest. And the super chest is what guarantees you uh, one of the rare drops, which is uh, scroll or chest. And for um, the weak set, it's armor. It's going to be um, uh, basically the purple chests um, that give you the storm scroll um, that you need for the storm set. So <clears throat> that's a little kind of tip for, for the uh, honor challenge. <clears throat> All right. Um, back to gems because I kind of went on a tangent there. Um, <clears throat> so that's how you can get these scrolls. Um, um, and uh, again, um, back to the to the treasure hunt. Uh, the reason I kind of went on that tangent was to talk about the fact that um, once you're past level 12, you will not get any more of those scrolls uh, from any of these uh, hero treasure hunts. Um, and so if you are level 12 or lower, um, do not upgrade to level 13 is what I'm saying. So the way you don't upgrade is don't open that chest even if this bar gets filled up because opening the chest is what triggers you to go to the next level. So if you're at level 12 and you're getting the scrolls, then keep it at level 12 so you can keep getting those scrolls because that's a very easy and free way to get those scrolls that you can use to upgrade your, your gems. Um, you, you do only get basic scrolls, um, so you will only be able to upgrade um, the moon gem, the uh, star gem, and the sun gem, uh, which is here. Um, you will not be able to upgrade the earth gem, which you can only do by using um, using these advanced gemstone scrolls, which um, are kind of a pain to get. Um, the only way to get it, again, is through that this chest. Uh, you can get advanced gemstone scrolls. Um, so as far as gems go, you never need to dismantle, even though you can if you wanted to. So uh, if I were to, let's say, you know, remove this gem, um, I can go to dismantle, and then I can click on this, and I can dismantle it, and then it will show you what you're getting back. So I'll show you how many of each crystal you're getting back, um, and you should get a full refund of whatever you spent um, to to craft and to upgrade that gem. But again, there is absolutely no reason for you to do that um, because um, when you upgrade a gem, uh, it uses up the previous level of gems. So what I mean by that is, so if I go over here and I go to craft, right? Currently I have an uh, R4, uh, level 40 gem uh, R4. And if I wanted to upgrade this R4 to a R5, um, you can see here the requirements. So um, it actually uses up this previous R4 gem and uh, it maintains the level. So uh, when I upgrade this to a uh, R5, it will be a R5 at level 40. So there's really absolutely no reason for you to ever dismantle your gems. Um, and that is pretty much it. Um, as far as focus goes, uh, which ones to focus? Um, I would say to um, kind of focus the earth. Like I mentioned, the earth is the, the strongest gem. Um, it's expensive to upgrade, very expensive. So uh, if you have limited resources, um, you know you might not be able to get this to a, to a very high level. Um, the other one you can focus on is attack. Obviously, attack is important. Um, attack, other than uh, other than Earth, attack is the most expensive one. And you can kind of get an idea of how expensive they are by seeing how many crystals it takes to upgrade them. So, for example, uh, I'm going to take a... Let me think. All right, so, for example, I'll look at this Earth one, right? I up, uh, can't upgrade it anymore because it's maxed. Okay, um, I'll take a look at this uh, uh, attack one, right? If I click upgrade, you can see here that going from level 35 to 36 will require uh, 1,500 uh, of these yellow ones. And really the yellow ones are what what's matters because that's the bottleneck. Um, 
And then if I take a look at the moon one uh, and I go to upgrade, you can see that it only costs like 400 to go from level 30 to level 31. Obviously each higher level re will require more, but um, you can see kind of the comparison there. Um, and then if I take a look at the uh, sun gem, you see that it takes 600. So um, basically the order from the most expensive to the least expensive is uh, earth most expensive, then star, then sun, and finally the uh, moon one. So um, I would, you know, personally I would focus on on the earth and the star um, and then you can kind of uh, go down and, and, and upgrade these as well. But uh, defense is also very important, especially uh, if you're doing PvP. Um, infantry defense, I learned that recently. Uh, infantry defense and, and health are very important because the longer, because those are your tanks. Um, so that's what dies first when you're in a battle is infantry. And uh, the longer your infantry can survive, you know, the better you'll do because it'll give your distance um, troops and your, your cavalry troops uh, more time to do more damage, obviously. So, um, so yeah, that is pretty much uh, gems in a nutshell. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Oh, I did miss something. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> when you upgrade gems, uh, every increment of 10 levels gets you passive bonuses so you can see here right for example uh for this specific sun gem right uh it's giving these buffs right to infantry health cavalry health and distance health however if you click up here and you go to this view and you go to each one it'll show you the passive bonuses you're getting for uh each uh level or each increment of uh 10. so if all four of your star gems are at level 10 or higher um you will get these passive bonuses as well and that's uh basically a, a reduction in damage um to your distance troops and your cavalry troops and then if uh all four of your um, star gems are level 20 or more then uh, you add on another 2.9% um, so uh, I know this looks a little bit confusing it looks like the percentages are staying the same but this is um, this is stacking so basically uh, you would add 2.9 to 2.9 so you would get effectively a 5.8% uh, reduction and then um, if all of them are level 30 or above you would get another um, 2.9 percent reduction so um, it scales as you go up so um, basically that would be uh, quick math 8.7 percent a reduction if you have them at level 30 or higher and this is a good way to see uh, exactly how many of each type of gemstone there are so there's four star ones which is the attack one the, the little line looking one and there's the moon one there are six moon ones um, again, all of them have to be above, you know, 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, and then eventually there's going to be more uh, if you increase uh, the level. So the R level is the max amount uh, of level you can upgrade the gem to. So at, you know, R1, um, at R1, the max you can upgrade to is level 10, R2, 20, R3, 30, R4, 40, R5, 50, and, you know, so on. Um, so you'll get those passive bonuses. So, uh, when you upgrade, right, try and stick to one set or one type of gem. So if you're going to upgrade, maybe upgrade all of the star gems, um, to level 10 first, um, and then see how much, you know, crystals you have left. Um, see, you know, if you have, if you don't have enough to bring the star all of the star gems to level 20 maybe look at one of the cheaper ones maybe look at the the moon one and see if you can bring all six of the moon ones to level 10 
that way you can get these passive bonuses so um, for example you know let's say if I were to look at the earth gems right I have two of them let's say I have one of them at level 40 and one of them at level 39 right I it's beneficial to me to bring that level 39 one to level 40 because I'll get the additional passive uh, buff at level 40 when I hit uh, this one I'll get an additional 3.3% uh, reduction in damage received for um, all three troop types um, if I had one of them at level 39 then I I wouldn't get this I only I'll only get up to the level 30 um, buff so yeah this is something hidden that most people don't know about um, again you can you can access that by clicking on any gem and then clicking up here uh, where it says plus 40 2 out of 2 and then you can see here and then if you click on the overview actually um, you can see the total amount of uh, passive buffs that you're receiving from all of your your gem sets um, so if you go to overview you can see that um, right now I have you know just under 30 percent uh, damage reduction for all three of my troop types um, because of the levels of the gems all right I'm glad I didn't miss that um, the only other thing I didn't talk about yet is uh, there is one more type of crystal and it's called the spirit um, let me see give me a second um, trying to see where I see that name uh, right here gem spirit um, this is uh, not free to play let's just put it that way um, these are very expensive and you can only get it from packs I know it says complete hero treasure hunt uh, I don't know what level it will uh, be available in the treasure hunt um, I'm close to 16 I think some of the other members of DGK are even closer to level 16 so um, we'll see if it's available at level 16 um, but this this will be the only free way to get it um, but the only other way is through packs and they're they're insanely expensive let's just say um, to get um, so I would say you know just focus on getting everything to at least um, R4 level um, because that already gives you a, a significant boost all right this was a long one um, a lot to go over um, so hopefully this was helpful um, again if you have any questions if anything was unclear to you or if you want you know a, a more detailed explanation of, of something uh, feel free to um, ask in the comments or ping me on uh, discord all right hopefully that helped i will see you guys next time bye